Hello, over the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to mirror your iPad's content in a format that you can accept it on one of the ATEM switchers uh, using an Apple TV. Um, it can be an app, the first Apple TV, or it could be the second, uh, either one would work. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is actually show it in action and then we'll go over how, what you need to have in place in order to have it work. Uh, it's actually fairly responsive. The first thing you wanna do in order to launch it is to uh, launch AirPlay. So we'll come over here, sc uh, scroll over to the right if you haven't done it before. You should have this little icon over here. It looks like a little TV looking thing. Click on that, then go ahead and click on mirror. And at that point, uh, you should, at that point, whatever happens on your iPad screen, you should be able to see on, on your ATEM, assuming everything's wired properly. In terms of responsiveness, it's extremely responsive. Uh, I'm talking even going through a scaler, uh, three or four frames of delay, I think at the very worst. Uh, I really haven't noticed enough of, d of a delay. Um, everything that your iPad can do, uh, it, you'll be able to do. So for example, uh, the speech recognition in the new uh, iPad 3 works just fine. In fact, hello, how are you? So boom, that, that works just fine. Um, we use it all the time for doing FaceTime during live sessions. So if we have on, on air talent that needs to talk to somebody else, just click on FaceTime and it works. Um, I don't want to dis, uh, dismount the cam my studio camera, so to kind of show you behind the scenes, we'll also will use the camera on here. And it will also show you some of the limitations that you have, namely the camera on here streamed that way. That's not necessarily the way to go, but at least it'll be good enough for me to show you what, uh, what happens kind of behind the scenes. Uh, before we do that, uh, the main ingredients you're gonna need, obviously, is your iPad. You're gonna need an Apple TV. And then, assuming that you're bringing in everything in via uh, 1080i or 1080p, uh, you're going to need some sort of scaler to bring everything into the right format. We use this right here. I'm not endorsing it, but uh, it works just fine. So we have a Geffen toolbox. Uh, it accepts HDMI in, and it will output HDMI out. So what we do is we're bringing, whether it's an iPad 2, uh, iPod, Apple TV uh, 1 or Apple TV 2 will bring that in here. And then from here, we'll match it to whatever camera we happen to be using. So if we're using everything, right now we're using a Panasonic AF100, so everything is 1080i. Um, and we just make everything in that format. So with that said, let's go ahead and go kind of go behind the scenes and we will use the camera on this to see what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and mirror the camera. And let's go ahead and kind of use that camera and again, this will show you some of the limitations of kind of going back and forth. Uh, so now we're kind of going behind the scenes. So if you look over here, in terms of what we have going on, we have an Apple TV unit sitting uh, right here and it's coming out via HDMI. And if we look in here, that is feeding one of those units that I just showed you. It is a Geffen uh, toolbox sitting right there. So right here we have the HDMI in and then the HDMI uh, out is right, well, this is kind of cramped in here, but uh, it's right here. And then we're sending it to the front of our, of our little rack mounted thing over here where we have both an ATEM1 as well as a um, Apple TV, uh, I'm sorry, as well as an ATEM studio. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, So our Apple TV then is just basically fed into our ATEM1, and it works equally well if you're going into an ATEM uh, studio. Uh, both of them will accept it, so the main thing is um, getting it all into the right format. Um, so hopefully this has been of some use to some of you. If you have any questions on getting it to work, uh, feel free to uh, uh, give me a shout.